In tutorial 10, we will add and display Landsat data in ArcMap. We will also set up processing environments and explore the image analysis window. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research, with funding from the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED. To begin, make sure you have downloaded and unzipped the Landsat image from tutorials 8 and 9, and open ArcMap. First, open a new map document and add all seven individual bands from your downloaded Landsat scene. First, we will cover how to display only selected bands. Open your image analysis window. We only want to display bands 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7 in this example. First, we will drag the bands we don't want to the bottom of our table of contents. You will notice that the layers were also automatically rearranged in the image analysis window. Now we'll make a composite image with only our desired bands. To do this, in the image analysis window, highlight bands 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Highlight multiple layers at once by holding down the shift key. And then click the composite button under processing. This will create a temporary composite image of only the selected bands. You should now see the new composite image in the table of contents. Note that in the Symbology tab, the bands are listed as Band 1, Band 2, Band 3, Band 4, and Band 5. The bands represent the Landsat bands in the order in which they appeared in the table of contents and image analysis windows at the time you hit the Composite button. So the Band 1 assigned to the red channel is actually Band 2 from the original seven bands since it is the first band in the list. Be sure to save your new composite dataset as a permanent dataset as covered in Tutorial 11. Now we are going to cover clipping the extent of the imagery. You can do this in two ways, by zooming in on the image in the map document window, or by using a polygon vector file. First we are going to clip to the extent showing in the map document window. I'm going to zoom in to the southeast quadrant of my image. Now that I've zoomed in to the map extent that I want to clip to, I'll just make sure my composite image is selected in the image analysis window. And then I'll click the clip button. And you'll note that I have a new clipped layer in my table of contents. As with all operations from the image analysis window, this is a temporary data set. So I'm going to select my new clipped layer in the image analysis window and save it as covered in tutorial 11. Now we're going to clip using another method by using a polygon file. Here I have added a vector polygon to my map that outlines the area of the city of Roanoke. I already had this file available and I just added it with the add data button. To use this boundary as an outline for clipping, I will first need to select it inside of the map document. I'll go to the Selection tool on the main menu and click on the boundary to select it. Before we clip, we also need to select the image to be clipped in the Image Analysis window. Click on the composite image and then click Clip. And here is our new image clipped to the polygon boundary. Don't forget this is also a temporary file. Be sure to save it if you want to keep it. This same process works with any type of polygon boundary.